Namaste and thank you for joining me for this session. Today we move through a mind and body flow. The breath will be at the center of the practice as a connection between the body and the mind to help us stay in the present moment. So let's first make sure you are sitting comfortably. You can use a small pillow or a folded blanket or even a block to sit on to allow the spine to extend upward from, in, from inside. Close your eyes, relax the legs and turn your awareness inward, clearing your mind. Breathing in slowly, letting positive energy come in, breathing out deeply and releasing any tensions you may have, any stressful thoughts from the mind. Take a few deep breaths, letting the breath find its rhythm. Listen to its sound, like the calming sound of the ocean. And bring your hands together at the heart center. In Anjali Mudra, reminding ourselves that we are all connected through the heart. And let's chant one home together. Take a deep breath in. And release the hands down to the knees. Continue watching your breath. The first part of this session today will be a breathing exercise, alternate nostril breathing, which is a calming and balancing practice. So let's take the right hand with index and middle finger folded into the palm, the thumb ready to close the right nostril lightly, and the ring finger and little finger for the left nostril. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Exhale completely through both nostrils. Close the right nostril and inhale through the left. Close both nostrils, hold the breath briefly. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close and hold, and exhale completely. Inhale through the left. Close and hold, exhale through the right. Inhale right. Close and hold, exhale left. And release the hand down to the knees, feeling the calming effect of this breathing. Now just make sure the breath remains slow and deep, with an even rhythm between inhale and exhale. And let's change the leg position, bringing the feet together, creating a diamond shape with the legs and holding your lower legs with the hands. Open the chest, look up. And then exhale, round the spine. Inhale, look up. Waving the spine to release any tensions. And again, inhale, open. Exhale and relax. And sit with the back straight, moving the knees 
together and the feet a little closer to the hips. The next move will be a twist. Left arm around the knees, right hand behind you. Slow deep breaths, feeling the stretch in the spinal muscles. Come back to the center as you inhale. Right arm around the knees, exhale, left hand behind you. Slow deep breath. Inhale, coming back to center. If you are sitting on the support, you can remove it now. The next pose is boat, boat pose. Engaging the core, straightening the spine, leaning slightly back. Lifting the feet up and releasing the arms forward to balance. You can keep the knees bent or getting the, making the pose a little more challenging, straightening the, turning the legs. Exhale, let the feet come down with a little space between the feet and place the hands behind you. Press down on the feet and hands and lift the seat up to create a nice tabletop shape. Reverse tabletop. Staying there, but if this is stressful for your wrist, you can sit and relax. And slowly come down, cross your roll down on your back, knees toward the chest. Head down, relaxing the spine, moving the arms out to the side, letting the knees fall on one side as you exhale. Inhale back to center and exhale, knees to the other side. Bring the knees back to center, hold the legs, lift the head, roll up and down a few times, massaging your back. And then relax, head down, let the left foot come down on the floor and extend the right leg up. Hold the leg with both hands, straighten the leg as much as you can, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings and you can circle your ankle to relax the foot muscles. Changing direction. Stop the movement of the foot, hold the leg with the right hand and open the leg out to the side. The left hand can press on the left hip to stay steady on the mat. Feel the stretch in the inner thigh. Keep breathing to relax the muscles. And bring the leg back up, bend the knee, place the right ankle on top of the left thigh and catch the back of the thigh with both hands, reclining pigeon pose, feeling the stretch in the right hip. Breathing slowly and deeply. And releasing right foot down. Lift the left leg, hold the leg, extend it all the way up, feel the hamstring and circle the ankle. You can change the direction. Then hold the leg with the left hand, open the leg to the side. Notice the stretch in the inner thigh. If it feels too intense, you can soften the knee slightly. Then bring the leg back up, bend the knee, place the ankle on top of the right thigh and catch the back of the leg with both hands. Left hip stretching deeply but not uncomfortably. And releasing the leg, both knees to the chest, lift the head up and roll up into sitting and come into a tabletop position with your hands in front of you. 
Adjust the position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips slightly apart. And feel the core as a support for the back as you lift your right leg up. Now the left arm extends forward and balance for a few breaths. Bend the knee, catch the ankle with the hand, and lift the foot higher, stretching the front of the thigh and the right hip. Release the hands and move the right leg out to the side, then lift the right arm up into a twist. Deep breath and exhale, both hands and knees down. Prepare for the other side, engage the core, lift the left leg, stand it long, then lift the right arm forward. Feel the strength of the core supporting the back. Exhale, bend the knee, catch the ankle, lift the foot higher to feel a stretch in the left thigh and hip. Then release the hand, stretch the left leg out to the side and the left arm up, opening into a split twist. Exhale, both hands down, knees to the mat. Preparing for downward facing dog, curl the toes under, lift the knees, separate the feet with the head hanging down, pressing on the hands, straightening the arms and the spine, neck relaxed, then slowly stretching one leg, heel coming down to the floor, and then the other side. Turn on the feet a few times, noticing the stretch in both legs, and then start playing a little bit more, moving a little bit side to side, staying connected to the breath. And then stop the movement, pressing on all four points, Lifting from the core and lifting the head up, walk the feet forward toward the hands. Hang down with the chest over the legs and grab elbows. Neck relaxed, spine lengthening. Feeling the pull of gravity downward. And then releasing the elbows. And you can use a block under your hands if you have one or catch your ankles to stretch the hamstrings fully. If you are more flexible, the hands can come all the way down to the floor. Now walk your feet closer together and bend the knees, coming to chair pose, arms lifted over the head, sitting down a little lower, to feel the strength of the legs. From there, release the arms down. Catch hands behind your back and straighten the legs. Head down. Deep stretch in the shoulders, in the hamstrings. And then soften the knees, release the arms, and roll up. Standing in mountain pose, rolling the shoulders back, arms along the sides. Taking a deep breath, feeling grounded. 
and walking to the front of the mat in preparation for a few rounds of sun salutation. Hands together on the heart. Follow the breath with movement. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release the arms down. Inhale, arms moving out and up, gently arch back. Exhale, folding forward, hands down, neck relaxed. Inhale, one leg back. You can start with the right. Change on the next one. Exhale. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, chaturanga. You can let the knees touch the ground as you lower yourself down. Inhale into cobra or up dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, both feet together, chest toward the legs. Press on the feet. Inhale, arms up, arching back. Exhale, bring the hands back to the heart. Again, release the arms. Inhale, arms moving up and Exhale, folding forward, hands down. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, both feet back, downward facing down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, both feet together, chest toward the legs, pressing on the feet. Inhale, arms are marching back. Exhale, bring the hands back to the heart. Close the eyes. Feel the flow of energy. Opening the eyes, release the arms down, let's get ready for more vinyasa. Inhale, arms moving overhead. Exhale, folding forward, hands down. Inhale, one leg back. Exhale, both feet back, downward facing down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward and pivoting the left foot to the side. Press on both feet, warrior one. Exhale, open to the side, warrior two, and hold. Look toward your right hand, arms parallel to the floor, right knee over the ankle, and if possible, the right thigh parallel to the floor as well. Feeling the strength of the legs, the courage of our warrior. Last breath. Exhale, hands down, both feet back, downward facing dog. Left leg up, step the left foot forward, pivoting the right foot, press on both feet, arms up. Exhale, open to the side, warrior two, and hold. Listen to your breath, feel the power of the pose. And exhale, hands down to the floor, both feet back, downward facing dog. Between postures, you can stay downward facing dog or flow into a vinyasa, like we did in sun salutation. If you get tired, you can even rest in child pose instead. Lift the right leg up, step the right foot forward. Pivot on the left foot, press on both feet, warrior one. Exhale, open to warrior two. Straighten both legs. Reverse triangle, lean back. Exhale, lengthen to the right. Triangle pose, trikonasana. The right hand can rest on the leg, left arm straight up. Taking a few deep breaths, holding this one. Pressing on the feet, inhale, coming up. Exhale, bend the knee, hands down to the floor, both feet back, downward dog. Lift the left leg up, step the left foot forward, press on both feet, warrior one. Exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Straighten both legs, reverse triangle, leaning back. 
Exhaling, lengthening the left side and letting the left hand come down on the leg, right arm extending up. Slow, deep breath. Feeling grounded. Press on the feet, inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the knee, hands to the floor, both feet back down or down. Choose to stay there or go through a vinyasa. Lift the right leg up. Step the right foot forward. Press on both feet, warrior one. Exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Staying there, lean back, reverse warrior. Exhale into side angle. You can rest the elbow on the thigh and reach forward with the left arm or do any other variation, maybe using the block to rest the right hand or even binding if you want more challenge. Breathe into the left side of the body. In the side of the ribs, expanding. And prepare to release both hands down to the floor, both feet back to downward facing dog. Lifting left leg up, step the left foot forward, press on both feet, inhale warrior one. Exhale to warrior two, stay there, reverse warrior. Exhale side angle with a support or other variation. Extend to the right side of the body, from the ankle to the fingers and breathe, stretching deeply all along that line. One more breath and exhale, hands down to the floor, both feet back, downward facing dog, vinyasa or hold. Right leg up, three-legged dog, right foot forward. For the next pose, use a block if you have it and place it on the right side of your right foot. Right hand on the block. Left foot comes a little closer. Then pressing on right foot, right hand, lift the left leg and balance into half moon two. Left arm up. Be as steady as possible. The pose is quite challenging. So if you are new to the practice, you can have the hand higher, maybe on the chair, or use the wall. Exhale, softly landing in warrior, and placing the hands down to the floor, both feet back downward facing down. Lifting the left leg up, step the left foot forward, Prepare the block on the left side. Left hand on the block, right foot a bit closer, and pressing on left foot, left hand, left the right leg, right arm. Balance. Keep breathing. Feel completely focused, completely present in the moment. And exhale, softly landing and bringing both hands down to the floor. Going back to downward dog. Vinyasa or hold. And lift one leg up. Step the foot forward between the hands. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the legs, exhale, hands to waist, and pivot the right foot forward. Prasarita Padottanasana, three. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, bend forward. Catch the ankles or the big toes with both hands. Lengthen the spine, and exhaling, bring the top of the head down toward the 
Feel the deep stretch in the inner thigh and the spine lengthening. Shoulders relaxed. As you inhale, come halfway up, looking forward. Exhale, hands to the waist, pressing on the feet. Inhale, coming up to stand. Exhale. Turn the toes slightly out and move the arms out to the side and bring them together on the heart in prayer position and bend the knees into goddess pose. Let's do this pose as a dynamic movement with the breath. Inhale, extend the arms over the head, straight legs, exhale, bend the knees, hands to heart. Two more times, inhale, stretching up, exhale, going down toward the earth. One more, inhale, stretching up, exhale, and coming down, let's hold here and open the arms, hands in mudra. Feel the hips stretching deeply, feel the strength of the legs, and then inhale, straighten the legs, release the arms out, and bring the feet together, arms along the sides. The next pose is the last standing pose, it's a balanced pose, three pose. So let's stand on the right foot and lift the left heel off the ground. Lift the leg and place the foot on the inner side of the thigh or lower if you don't feel steady enough. Press the foot, open the knee out and bring the hands together on the heart. If you feel steady, extend the arms over the head. Lengthen through the spine while pressing the right foot firmly down as if you were growing roots from your foot. Shoulders relaxed, mind calm and focused. And release, hands down, both feet down to the ground, relaxing the arms, preparing for the other side. Right heel up, open the knee out as the foot moves up. Press it firmly once you have chosen the right position and bring the hands together on the heart. And if you lose the balance, don't worry, just start again or just breathe. Make sure you fix your gaze on a point and don't move the gaze while you hold the balance. And then slowly coming down on both feet. And preparing to come down on the mat, lift your heels off the ground, raise the arms in front of you, bend the knees, coming to a complete squat, and then slowly sit. Extend your left leg forward. And place the right foot as we did in three pose, foot against the inner thigh. If the knee is off the ground, you can take a block or a cushion under your leg to support it. Extend through the spine, lift the arms up, and exhale, fold forward. You can catch the foot if you can, or the ankle, or even use a strap around the foot as an extension if needed. Stretch through the spine, lengthen all the way up toward the top of the head, and exhale, fold toward the leg, if that feels all right for your back, the head can even relax down if you feel comfortable. Feel a deep stretch in the back side of the body, Shoulders stay away from the ears. And 
one more breath. And then releasing the foot walking your hands back up. Next pose is a spinal twist. So bring your right knee up, press the right foot down next to the left leg, sit straight, and let your left arm go around the right leg, right hand behind you for Marishi Asana. This is the first option. If you want to go deeper, the left arm can go around the leg and both hands connecting behind the back. But if you feel you are falling back, then keep the right hand on the floor. Slow, deep breath. And release the hands. Come back to center, turn slightly to the other side. And then bend both knees, straighten the right leg forward, open the net, left knee out, using a pillow or a block if needed. Extend through the spine, arms over the head, exhaling, Janu Shasana, forward bend, extend through the spine, head to the foot, toward the foot. Shoulders relaxed. And feel the balance here between relaxation and effort. There is no struggle. Just letting the breath help you go into your full pose. And then inhaling. Coming back up, preparing for the twist, Marishi Asana 3. Inhale, spine straight. The right arm goes around the knee or behind the knee for the more challenging variation. Left hand behind you or preparing to bind the arms behind the back. Whatever option feels all right for you today, depending of your level of experience, One more breath, and then release, bending both knees, and roll down on your back, preparing for bridge pose, feet slightly apart, arms along the sides, pressing down on the feet, lifting the hips up, then bringing the, the arms Closer, hands together, rolling the shoulder blades toward each other, getting more support from the arms, and keep pressing on the feet so you lift up as much as you can. Breathe into the front of the body. Slowly breath. And releasing the hands, gently rolling down and putting the knees toward the chest. Moving the arms out to the side and releasing the spine from the back bend by moving the knees to the right. To center and to the left. Knees back. To center, wrap your arms around the knees, relax a moment. Next, we work on the inverted function. Shoulder stand if you are familiar to it, or an easier variation if you are newer to the practice. So if you are familiar to shoulder stand, you can maybe take a blanket under your shoulders to support them and protect your neck or stay on your mat. If you want to work on the easy variation, I'll demonstrate that. You can take a pillow, block, a block is fine, 
and extend the legs up over the heads. With the hips supported, it's easy to keep the legs where they are, and you can stretch the arms out to the side. This is great for circulation in the legs. You could even have your legs resting against the wall if you want to stay longer and have a more restorative pose. Very good to fight insomnia or nervousness. So the pose you have chosen, try to hold it for about 10 breaths, so it will be beneficial for circulation. And if there is any discomfort on your neck or your back, you can come out at any time. And after 10 breaths or a little more, you can bend the knees and come down. And just relax into the last pose, which is Shavasana, the final relaxation, stretching the legs one at a time, feet slightly apart, moving the arms to the sides, palms turning up, relaxing the shoulders, Relaxing the hips and the back, relaxing the legs, relaxing the whole body, and relaxing the mind. Letting the breath flow easily, without effort. Feeling the rise and fall of the chest and the abdomen. Face relax and the eyes relax. To benefit fully from this final pose, hold it for a few minutes and even more if you feel the need to relax. And when you feel ready to come out, move your fingers and toes. Gently start moving the body, stretching gently, and move the arms over the head. Bring the knees toward the chest. And when you feel ready to come back, back to sitting, roll on the side and push yourself back up. Sit comfortably again. Hands to the knees, eyes still closed. Noticing the effect of the practice. And bringing the hands together on the heart and gently bowing the head down with gratitude to the body and to the practice. Namaste.